That literally sounds like what a woman's mean? voice. Yeah. Oh, what the f What the f What the f Go, 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 go! Oh, sh**. Careful, careful. Yo. Go, 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 go! Tonight, we are going to attempt to camp inside of a cave that people call Skinwalker Cave. Some of the things that have happened in this cave are downright horrifying. There are recorded deaths that happen inside of here. Bro, that was like a laughing. Yeah. What the fuck was that? Coyotes, coyotes, coyotes. What? Four mountains. How about the desert? Oh, oh, shit! Chris, Chris, Chris. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Tonight, you're going to see my friends and I stay in two horrifying locations that have had alleged skinwalker sightings, but apart from that, there have been actual recorded deaths on the property, on this land. One of these locations is an old mill deep in the desert, and the second is this cave right behind me. There have been actual people who have died inside of this cave, and my friends here have both been inside of this cave in the past, and they've experienced things like voices coming from the cave, screams, um, feeling very uneasy, almost like there's someone else in there. But not only them, but other people too. We, we've had a lot of people who have warned us about coming here, warned us about staying overnight in this location. But we really wanted to push the boundaries. You're going to see that in both nights. Uh, the first night went horribly wrong. It went as wrong as it possibly could have. And you're going to see that into today's video first. We're not done filming here, so I can't really say too much, but what I can say so far, the things that we've experienced are downright horrifying. Um, but yeah, you heard that. That was loud. So here's the thing. Uh, we've already found a bunch of personal belongings in here. Some of it looks pretty recent. Uh, we found documents of, court documents of some really dark things. A lot of strange things that we've uh, encountered so far, but that definitely sounded like a voice from in here. Um, yeah, I guess, get ready guys. If you're excited for this video, I'm not. But if you guys are excited for this video, you want to see more videos like this, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and make sure to subscribe to my friends too. Their links will be down below. Everything you see on my channel, you will not see on theirs and vice versa. We're all filming different things. Um, so basically more footage for you guys. But um, apart from that, let's roll the footage back a little bit to last night of when we went to that old Skinwalker Mill, if you will. Um, that's what we're going to call these locations, Skinwalker locations, because that's what we really wanted to prioritize and focus on. And I'm really glad we did because the things that we experienced... You know what, I'll let the footage speak for itself. Take a look. There's, this is not far from us, it's literally right over there, dude. I, I don't think we should be here right now. Wait, what is it, a car? Yeah, it's probably like 100 yards away from us. You can hear the fucking motor. Oh, yeah, I think I see the tail lights right there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can see it. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning, we don't need to be playing around with this. There's only one road in here. And it's like a 35 minute long dirt path road to get here. Alright, you know what, let's, let's pack up. Let's get out of here. Guys, I know this doesn't make sense. I'm actually recording my intro as an outro. But after what we've experienced tonight, the things that we've captured on camera, it's in our best interest to just get the hell up out of here. This is not safe. We are so far in the middle of nowhere, in the desert, and things, things have went wrong from the moment we stepped foot on this land right here. We are at a mine and... What was that? That was, high, that was like a girl so talking, like a girl's voice. What the fuck was that, Angel? That literally sounded like something was like moving up there. Dude. You hear that, right? Yeah. What the f the guy still here. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the f You guys are, uh, I'm what done. The I'm fucking Yo. done. Okay. This is not guys, listen. Wanted. We're getting the f out of here. Give the f keys. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Oh, we're getting out of here. Um, I'll let the footage speak for itself. And we'll, uh, yeah. 
Hey guys, before the video does begin, I am here with my friends Angelo and Chris behind the camera. I want to talk to you guys about something that happened this first night up here in Skinwalker Mountain that, listen, this night was downright horrifying. The things that we experienced were absolutely terrifying. It had us running, screaming. We were very uncomfortable. I want to mention that we had a bad gut feeling about this before we even stepped foot on this property. We saw a car in the distance. That was kind of our first red flag, but we drove so far away. We were like, let's just, let's just go check. One thing led to another. We ended up spending a couple of hours here. I wish we did go with our gut feeling, but we kept on pushing. I do want to mention this location is so far away from civilization, hours and hours away from the nearest hospital, from the nearest anything. And obviously Nevada is big. When you're here in the desert, you don't know what's going on. Uh, Warrant, this is a house where when we did enter, there were signs that people were living here uh, and very recently as well. So we had a lot of variables to worry about. And I will be 100% honest with you, the least of my worries were either the paranormal or the skinwalkers at this point. We had living people to worry about. And that's always my biggest fear because you don't know people's intentions, especially in the desert. Now, for those who don't know, they haven't been longtime supporters of my channel. Last time me and you were at this location, there were gunshots. There shots fired towards us. We had to run for our lives. I can't even believe that we even went back here. Obviously, it's been two years, mm -hmm. but we wanted to give it another shot. We felt that we were a little bit more brave and yeah, we kind of pushed it. Now, the next 20 to 30 minutes of footage that you will see on my video, you will see me and Chris especially very uncomfortable and it just gets worse and worse and worse. We were trying to push it because, well, we drove so far, we flew across the country and it was very difficult. This guy on the other hand, he does this. He does this a lot. He goes camping with like, no, I was gonna say polar bears, a uh, grizzly. I, I don't know which one's worse. <laughs> you I go, probably would actually. <laughs> probably would. That could be uh, pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, he, he goes camping with like grizzly yeah. bears around. Obviously, you do have your guns with you. Yeah. But, but I mean, alone up the mountains, right? So anything could happen out there. Still terrifying. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You are a lunatic. A little bit, a little bit psychotic. Yeah, respectful. I will, I will say. Yeah. But hey, you know that's why you do this. You enjoy doing it. Now, Chris and I do go to some of the scariest forests in America and. Obviously, we either have my camper van or our guns or many other variables that make us feel safe when we do it. However, flying to Nevada cross country, not having any sort of protection apart from a metal pipe that I found, um, it's a little different. So I just want you guys to understand that uh, you will see us gradually kind of lose our minds, especially me and Chris. But the reason why I'm mentioning this is because Angelo actually uploaded his video uh, yesterday now, but two days ago for you. and. We obviously filmed different sorts of footage. He was alone at one point. Chris and I were investigating another building because we heard noises in that direction. Now, when Chris and I went over there, we encountered something. I don't want to spoil anything, but we encountered something that had us running, screaming, wanting to get out of here. We reached our boiling point. We wanted to leave. However, Angelo was recording. He was also wearing a mic at the time. He couldn't hear or see what we were doing. He just saw us running into the car. However, we were screaming at Angelo, telling him, let's go. There's this here. We got to get going. Like our lives are on the line here. A lot of people on Angelo's video um, didn't see that, obviously, with the way the camera was angled. And yeah, yeah the camera was this way. You guys were running from behind. Yeah, from and also, to be fair, I was also cooking the steaks and I didn't want to screw it up. Priorities. Priorities. Right? Priorities. I, I, once again, I, I mentioned safety is here for me. Content is here for me. For Angelo, it's steak, <laughs> content, true safety, um, true. which, which is guess. fine. You know, you do this and I respect that. I respect yeah. the hell out of you. But one thing I do want to mention is we are friends before anything. We put friends, our friendship, our brotherhood before content. And yes, we did push the boundaries. And the reason why we kept on going even after that situation was because we wanted to get a video for you. You came here from another country. Mm -hmm. You know, we flew across the country. I'm okay with not getting a video. I drove across the, the continent, yes. basically. It's from Canada. So it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's very different. Now, the way things were portrayed in the video, um, obviously, a lot of people only see the finished product, the hour long video, two hour long video. They don't see what happens the other 23, 22 hours in the day. A lot of people are sending Chris and I death threats saying that, you know, we didn't care about you or that we, you know, we didn't 
take you seriously. We didn't take your life seriously. That we ruined your video. And I would rather ruin your video than ruin your life, mm -hmm. personally, or put your life at stake. And I just want to... He heard steak and like turned at me. I, <laughs> you see that? <laughs> wrong, wrong steak. Someone said steak? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just want to mention, listen, guys, I'm sorry about that. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm still tweaking over everything. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I didn't mean to upset anybody in any sort of video or anything like that. Uh, for me, it's always just safety. Me and my friend's safety is number one and same way for Chris. We had that bad gut feeling. I always tell myself I go with my gut feeling no matter what. You know, me and Chris have a rule. Usually it's Chris who's like, if he has a bad gut feeling, you know, I kind of push it a little bit. But even Chris says, if I have a bad gut feeling, that's when you know it's time to go. So apart from that, guys, I, uh, I'm going to let this next 20 to 30 minutes of footage speak for itself. I want you guys to truly understand that we tried. Um, obviously, things went horribly wrong. But once again, we tried. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Make sure to show my friends some love. Their channels are down in the description below. And uh, yeah, peace. You hear that? You guys are hearing that? Yeah. Okay. Um, he here's the thing, guys. We're going to be camping here. This is an uh, area that's called Gold Dome Mill. It's here in the Mojave Desert in California. And there's been recorded deaths inside of this building, which could be what we're hearing if you you know, go along the paranormal route. But at the same time, driving up here, we thought that we saw a light. We came in two separate cars. Angelo was behind us. And even Angelo, when we got here, he was like, did you guys see that light that was by the building? So we're gonna just take a lap around the building. Just make sure we're the only ones here. Cause if we're gonna be camping here, we wanna make sure we're the only ones here. Um, so yeah, thoughts? I don't like it. Don't like it? No, nah, we are. I mean, we already did a couple laps. We did a lap in the car. We did a lap earlier, and we haven't found anyone. But I truly believe there's someone here, like a physical person. I mean, there is signs that someone is potentially yeah, here. Yeah, not just like a, a chair, but there's like a little barbecue grill. Yes. And there's an, like another chair, and there's waters that aren't open that are cold. It was a hundred degrees today here in Nipton. Cold. Very cold. I don't understand how it's cold, but well, we'll go check this out now. Um, I just my whole thought about these kind of things are like if someone was like squatting or living here, they know the layout way better than we do. Yes. So we need to keep our eyes peeled. So here's the thing: there is a bridge up there. There is that like sifting tower, I guess you. There's could a call whole other building up there. Yeah, a whole other building. There's more buildings in the back. There's a trailer in the back. So what the fuck was that? Listen, listen. It's coming from like down there, right? Is someone coming? I'm like walking yeah. up the trail. That's what it sounds like. Oh! What the fuck was that? Hello? It's like way back there. Okay. Um, well, I picked this up in my inventory, guys, so. So not only do we have to worry about the paranormal activity, mm -hmm. the mountain lions, rattlesnakes, skinwalkers. people, giant, there's skinwalkers. Giant spiders as well. Yeah. Tarantulas. Giants. Yes. Fantastic. All right. Spirits, is there anybody here that wants to communicate with us? Can you at least tell us what we're in store for tonight? Hang on to that, Chris. Oh, thank you. Yeah. This is, you want this little one? Uh, what the hell? What, what are you going to do with that? I could, I could do something with it. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Thanks, I guess. Hey, it's probably nothing, right? <laughs> you are in trouble. Ooh. It says you're in trouble. You're in uh -oh. trouble. Somebody gonna tell? What did I do? That was like right behind us. What did you? It just said boy. It sounded like something like took a footstep, right? Yeah, like right here. Yeah, like something like literally moved. What's Hello. the boy's name? So guys, right over here is uh Revered. What? Revered? Graveyard. Oh, oh Gra Graveyard? Bro, you heard something. It said boy graveyard. Yeah. Is that where like What the f is going on? I don't know. Um so yeah, there's clothes here, a pair of pants. Here's 
blackmail. Is that maybe something that happened with one of the deaths here? This is the water we were talking about. You can tell that this one has been here for a while because of like the condensation and whatnot. But this one is like room temperature right now. Right now it's like 89 degrees. Earlier today it was over 100, 105. Just saying, strange. Hello? Bro, someone's talking. Listen. Yo, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a voice. Clear as day. Rest. Shut up. What is that? Is it, is it the guy? That guy right there? The what? The guy from the Halloween Town movie. Did they paint on the thing? Is that him? Scream? Yeah. yeah. Did you see Halloween Town movie? I don't fucking know. Don't this guy doesn't watch any. Town? You are so uncultured. It's a Halloween movie, isn't that? What's the fucking difference? It... No, it's uh. What happened? What's that? What happened? What happened? You just hear that? Bro, it's fucking footsteps. Something's moving around out here. It's right where we heard that shit sure. before. In the same spot? The same exact spot. All right, listen, guys. It's once fine. you hear the stories about this place, it'll, it'll really put things into perspective for you. But this place is really loud. Like, that's one thing we, we told ourselves going into this place. We've been here before. We know how loud this place is because the wind, you know, metal rocking back and forth. But some of the things you hear are just unexplainable. So, yeah, let's go show you guys around. Let's, let me show you to my humble abode here. Is anybody here? Can, can you show yourself? We don't mean harm. Let's go around back this way. Because it's something... I'm going my gut here. <laughs> so it's our first night here in the West, on the West Coast. And for some reason, we decided to start off on a very high note mm -hmm. camping here. Uh, I do want to mention that our hotel rooms are like an hour and a half away from here. Perfectly fine hotel rooms, you know, with pools and everything. We're just... Why do we pay for hotel rooms that we're not sleeping in tonight? Truthfully. I do like to take nice, warm poopies and... Yeah, but we're not going to be there We watch like South Park when we get back. At 8, 9 a.m. I mean, good thing we got dude wipes. There's more clothes right there. So, theoretically guys, if we do get bit by like a rattlesnake, barring that we are so far in the desert right now, so far away from a hospital, what do I'll we do? I'll fuck it up. What? 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 I thought you were supposed to pee on it. Oh yeah, yeah, never mind. you pee on it. I just peed, so. Uh, Have you peed recently, Angela? Yeah. Okay, well this is a problem. <laughs> Definitely no more peeing. <laughs> okay, hold it in. Drink more water, load up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, yo. Angel, do you have your flashlight? The br brighter one? Can you shine it down there? I swear to you. Th heard, we saw and heard things earlier over there. It was right behind that bush. It was almost like something peeked out in the. It was tall. I mentioned in my earlier uh, in my video. I don't think you talked about it, but like this area is notorious for skinwalker sightings, other cryptids, because this place is so far away and there was so much history back here. Native Americans used to, yeah, obviously live out here. You know, this is their land. Something to consider. You know, shapeshifters. I mean, all that. Puts it all into perspective. One hundred percent. Now that's so, that's what we gotta like keep in mind. See all this. This is yeah, this, this is, is what we mean. Grill, uh, barber chair. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? I don't know. Is there anything in the grill? Like, have they been cooking recently? It's brand new. That is. Looks empty. You cannot tell me otherwise. There's somebody in this building. You think so? A thousand percent. I mean, dude, there's like an unused tarp. Oh, you're right. This is very new. Yeah. It's like what the fuck? 
So we're gonna do something with it. I think somebody might have possibly been here as we were pulling up, and they like went. They're hiding somewhere. Where we don't know. That's the thing. They know this place. There is the trailer right there. Yeah. I mean, I, we didn't really look that well inside the trailer. You wanna go take a look quick? I almost feel like for us to be like truly comfortable, we have to get here in the daytime and do a full like daytime. See, that's that's that the time has come and gone, okay, Chris? <laughs> well, I'm just saying we could always come back too. Yeah. Because honestly, I'm not comfortable to camp right now. I'm really not. Is that the moon? What is that light right there? Where? You see that light? It's bright. I think it's the moon over the mountains. Looks like a flashlight or something. Hello? Anybody in there? Yo, what was that? Yo, there's a light in there. Something just moved in there. Who's who's in there? Yo, we, we don't mean harm. We're just explorers. Hello? There's another entrance, hold on. I think, right? I think it might just be this side. Is it? Uh, possibly, I don't know. What was that? I don't know, it's like there's too many like little hidden areas in there. I don't like that. Right? You wanna go in there? Go ahead. Yeah. Hello? You should probably warn us before you do that. Jeez, you nearly, I have like a poop brewing and that nearly slid it out. Oh, okay. That's okay. Here, I'll go inside. Okay. All right, you guys get first peeksies. Okay, here I go. Here I come. Oh, thanks. Whoa, whoa, shit. What? Bats, bats, bats! Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Bats. I forget how much you don't like bats. I hate bats. <laughs> Especially in small confined spaces, right? Everybody in there? I mean, if they are, they're chilling with the bats. I think, you know, they're, they're Dracula. Uh, Chris, you hearing this? Yeah. Bro, I keep hearing like a woman's voice over here. A voice? A woman's voice. Anybody else just hear a whistle? A whistle clear as day. Can either of you whistle? Yes. Kind of. Can you... <whistles> what the f- That was- Something. Something over here. Something? Oh, dearie me. Dearie me. Hello, Mr. Mountain Lion. Yeah, I just want to continue this little lap we're doing, finish this up. So what what are your on a scale of one to ten, how comfortable are you guys with camping here tonight? Eh, two. I think I'm about like a four or five. Okay. So I was gonna ask. We have a Nissan Altima for the rental car. Do you think people would enjoy a Nissan Altima camping video? Yes. Okay. We might start a new trend. Why would they not? <laughs> Fair. I'd watch that. <sighs> what the f was that? That was a literal fucking voice. Ma male voice. I hear something else. Bro, that was like a laughing. Yeah. What the f was that? Not like actually, what was that? Thoughts? I don't think this is a good idea. Chris was saying before he even like pulled into the the lot, he was Judith. like, Judith. Was that Judith laughing? I don't think so. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's interesting how 
he was like, I feel very uncomfortable, like off camera. He's like, I yeah. do not feel comfortable with this place right now. And that's like one of the most commonly reported things. So yeah, feeling uneasy. Spirit, right? Spirit. Yeah. Is it the spirits that are making Chris feel uncomfortable or is it? I've like, I've been here so many times and yeah. myself, me and CJ, I, like, we've never stayed or really filmed here. because We always get so freaked out. I mean, last time me and Angela were here, uh, people oh, pulled up with guns. They're shooting them insane. off in the distance. We had to, like, literally run for our I lives. I believe that. Yeah. 100%. There's just, like, a lot of bad things have happened here. And I think there's a reason that it's it's shut down. I mean, like, look where we are. Dude, we're so far in the desert. To if drive get, here yeah. is... If we get one flat tire, we are absolutely through. And we were close on the way in, too. Yes, we were. Dang potholes. You guys hear that? You were so close. So close to what? What the fuck is that? Things should not be making noise like that. Um. Yeah, pull that knife out. Hello? It, before we. I. Chris, not a good idea. Moving fast. No, I'm not trying to, it's not like weird, but I swear I got heard like a voice over here. I just want to make sure there's not like... Was there maybe someone who passed away in this like thing? <gasps> Holy what the fuck? Shit. Stop talking. No, stop making noises. Okay, um... I was gonna say, if before, oh, sorry, I'm jumping at my own, fuck you. Um, I was gonna say, before we do sleep here, we should go check the high ground up there, where the tower is, just to be safe. I don't know, I'm really thinking about this Nissan Altima camping video. <laughs> just say, just say. First of its kind. It's the next trend, bro. Every, every YouTuber's gonna be doing it. There's just a sudden uptick in Nissan Altima sales. Yo, 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 yo. Someone's fucking moved right there. Someone's moved right there. I swear to God. There was some kind of like black, it looked almost like a person like moved like by that door right there. Hello? Who's in there? by the cool artwork. It's pretty sick. It is cool, right? Yeah. Share my message. What is your message? What do you want to share? Well, what do you want me to share? Does anybody else see something? Yep. Like up, up, up top, right? Yeah. Yep. It feels like we're playing cat and mouse. Right? It feels like a big it's game. in the closet. It's in the closet. Come out of the closet. I was going to say... All right, that's so weird. There's a fucking roller skate in yes. there. There's a roller skate right there. Oh, yeah. That's convenient and random. But it looks like people go in there. It just said we elemental, by the way. You, what did you say an elemental was again? Yeah, it's like a, a cryptid, right? It's like kind of, I don't understand like it. I don't understand, but it almost like she's stripped her. Yeah, it's going to walk her. It reacts to the elements? When it's hot, it gets hot? Yeah, like when we're, we're feeling it with like where we are right now. Like being on this like this Native American land, mm. okay. the desert where people Earth, mined. Wind and fire, baby. Yeah, we mined. The Earth was literally mined here, I'm and they bring all that stuff out. Mm, that's true. Thanks, guys. The more you know. All right. Uh, no. Well, guys. Um, Access map. What? Yeah. Access map. Huh? Okay. Uh, anyways. All right, well, I guess we'll do like some more looking around, guys. If you're watching this, then we will be setting up tents. Um, so I guess just get ready for what else we have in store for tonight. It's going to be quite the interesting night, to say the least. Make sure to subscribe to the boys. Their links will be down in the description below. Um, because we will be recording all night long, all different types of footage. Nothing you see here you will see on his channel or his channel and vice versa. So what'd you find? Excuse me. Nine mil. Oh, yeah. Brenda. Brenda. Oh, Brenda. That's a forty-five. Well, all right, guys. Dick. I guess uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Peace.
So yeah, thoughts? I don't like it. Don't like it. Nah, we are. I mean, we are dinners that aren't open that are cold. It was a hundred degrees today here in Nipton. Cold. Very cold. I don't understand how it's cold, but well, we'll go check this out now. Um, I just my whole thought about these kind of things are like if someone was like squatting or living here, they know the layout way better than we do. Yes. So we need to keep our eyes peeled. So here's the thing: there is a bridge up there. There is that like sifting tower, I guess you. There's call a whole other building up there. Yeah, a whole other building. There's more buildings in the back. There's a trailer in the back. So, what the fuck was that? Listen, listen. It's coming from like down there. What's that? Hello? It's like way back there. Okay. Um, well, I picked this up in my inventory, guys, so. So not only do we have to worry about the paranormal activity, mm -hmm. the mountain lions, rattlesnakes, skinwalkers. people, giant, there's skinwalkers. Giant spiders as well. Tarantulas. Giants. Yes. Fantastic. All right. Spirits. Is there anybody here that wants to communicate with us? Can you at least tell us what we're in store for tonight? Hang on to that, Chris. Oh, thank you. Yeah. This is, okay. You want this little one? Uh, what the hell? What are you going to do with that? I could, I could do something with it. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Thanks, I guess. Hey, it's probably nothing, right? <laughs> you were in trouble. Ooh. This is you're in trouble. You're in uh -oh. trouble. Somebody gonna tell? What did I do? That was like right behind us. What did you? It said boy. It sounded like something like took a footstep, right? Yeah, like right here. Yeah, like something like really moved. What's Whoa. the boy's name? So guys, right over here is uh Revered. What? What? Revered? Graveyard. Oh, oh Gra Graveyard? Bro, you heard something. It said boy graveyard. Yeah. Is that where like What the fuck is going on? I don't know. Um so yeah, there's clothes here, a pair of pants. Here's Blackmail. Somebody getting blackmailed? I don't get it. Is that maybe something that happened with one of the deaths here? This is the water we were talking about. You can tell that this one has been here for a while because of like the condensation and whatnot. But this one is like room temperature right now. Right now it's like 89 degrees. Earlier today was over 100, 105. Just saying, strange. Hello? Bro, someone's talking. Listen. Yo, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a voice. Clear as day. Rat. Shut up. What is that? Is it, is it the guy? That guy right there? The what? The guy from the Halloween Town movie that they paint on the thing? Is that him? Scream? Yeah. yeah. You see Halloween Town movie? I don't fucking know. Don't this guy doesn't watch any. You are so uncultured. It's a Halloween movie, isn't it? What's the fucking difference? It... No, it's uh. What happened? What's that? What happened? What happened? You just hear that? Bro, it's fucking footsteps. Something's moving around out here. It's right where we heard that shit sure. before. In the same spot? The same exact spot. Alright, listen guys. It's once fine. you hear the stories about this place, it'll really put things into perspective for you. But this place is really loud. Like, that's one thing we, we told ourselves going into this place. We've been here before. We know how loud this place is because the wind, you know, metal rocking back and forth. But some of the things you hear are just unexplainable so yeah let's go show you guys around let's let me show you to my humble abode here is anybody here can, can you show yourself we don't mean harm because it's something i'm going my gut here <laughs> so it's our first night here 
in the west, on the west coast and for some reason we decided to start off on a very high note mm -hmm. camping here uh i do want to mention that our hotel rooms are like an hour and a half away from here perfectly fine hotel rooms you know with pools and everything we're just why do we pay for hotel rooms that we're not sleeping in tonight truthfully i do like to take nice warm poopies and yeah well we're not going to be there we're at like south park when we get back at 8 9 a.m i mean good thing we got dude wipes There's more clothes right there. So, theoretically, guys, if we do get bit by like a rattlesnake, barring that we are so far in the desert right now, so far away from a hospital, what do I'll we do? I'll fuck it up. What? What? Well, I thought you were supposed to pee on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, never mind. You pee on it. I just peed, so. Uh, Have you peed recently, Angela? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a problem. <laughs> Definitely a no more peeing. <laughs> okay, hold it in. Drink more water, load up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, yo. Angel, do you have your flashlight? The br brighter one? Can you shine it down there? I swear to you. Her, we saw it hurt things earlier over there. It was right behind that bush. It was almost like something peeked out in the. It was tall. I mentioned in my earlier uh, in my video. I don't think you talked about it, but like this area is notorious for skinwalker sightings, other cryptids, because this place is so far away and there was so much history back here. Native Americans used to, yeah, obviously live out here. You know, this is their land. Something to consider. You know, shapeshifters. I mean, all that. What's it all in the hundred percent. Now that's so, that's what we gotta like keep. See all this. This is yeah, this, this is, is what we mean. Grill, uh, barber chair. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? I don't know. Is there anything in the grill? Like, have they been cooking recently? It's brand new. That is. Looks empty. You cannot tell me otherwise. There's somebody in this building. You think so? A thousand percent. I mean, dude, there's like an unused tarp. Oh, you're right. This is very new. Yeah. It's like what the fuck? We're going to do something with it. I think somebody might have possibly been here as we were. <sighs> Thoughts? I don't think this is a good idea. Chris was saying before he even like pulled into the, the lot, he was like, Judith. Judith. Was that Judith laughing? Jay in the house. I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's interesting how he was like, I feel very uncomfortable, like off camera. He's like, I yeah. do not feel comfortable with this place right now. And that's like one of the most commonly reported things. So yeah, feeling spirit, uneasy. Right? Spirit. Yeah. Is it the spirits that are making Chris feel uncomfortable or is it? I've like, I've been here so many times and yeah. myself, me and CJ, I, like, we've never stayed or really filmed here because we always get so freaked out i mean last time me and angela were here uh people oh, pulled up with guns they were shooting them insane. off in the distance we had to like literally run for our I lives i believe that 100 yeah. percent. there's just like a lot of bad things have happened here and i think there's a reason that it's it's shut down i mean like look where we are we're dude we're so far in the desert to if drive get, here yeah is if we get one flat tire we are absolutely through and we were close on the way in too. yes we were dang potholes You guys hear that? You were so close. So close to what? What the fuck is that? Things should not be making noise like that. Um. Yeah, pull that knife up. Hello? It, before we, I, cause not a good idea. Moving fast. All right, guys. So you just seen the first literal first 30 minutes of us arriving to this location and experiencing what we just did. We heard voices. What sounded like laughing at one point. That was absolutely horrifying, by the way. Terrifying. I still have no idea how to even start to explain that things were moving in this building there were signs that people were here 
you saw us go from upbeat and, you know, positive to like a shell of ourselves. Uh, at one point I had my hoodie on, I was freaked out. I, I, I didn't even want to hear what was going on in the building. I really wish I did go with my gut feeling because you will see soon that things went horribly wrong and it only gets worse and worse and worse. And I know that sounds crazy to even hear, but it, it just gets worse and worse throughout the night. And once again, Angelo, I'm sorry if we made you feel some type of way. I was not offended. It takes a lot to offend me, but I, there was no offense taken and uh, nobody did anything wrong. So I didn't think we did. Yeah. I truly was just trying to put our lives at so here. The one thing too to remember is that all three of us have very different characteristics, very true. different personalities. Yeah. Everyone reacts to things differently, right? Jazz likes to scream and yell and run away. And I will probably look and go towards the danger because that's I just need to know what's there. It's like right? the typical white guy in horror movie thing, yeah, it's yeah, great. It is what it is, right? I'm Italian, I'll take care of him. So fair but enough. Yeah, I mean that's just that's just where I'm at with it. So there was nobody did anything wrong. There was I did not feel offended in any sort of way. Nobody left each other there. We all rolled out of there at the exact same time and then got stuck at the exact same train and that was pretty much it. That was our night. Yeah. So I appreciate it, man. Listen, um, there's still more from this first night that I'm going to show you right here. Um, once again, it just <laughs> only gets worse. Um, and then shortly after that, you're going to see our second night at a location that we call the Skinwalker Cave. And uh, man, if you thought this first night was scary. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, I just want to put it in perspective. I have a horrible, horrible fear of caves, caving everything. I faced my fears. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much. Everyone who understands, I really appreciate you. You know, we did give an overwhelming, you know, amount of support and love, and we really appreciate you guys who understand. It's just, it's been a stressful past 12 hours or so. The death threats and all the crazy messages we received were just downright crazy. Um, you know, totally uncalled for and unnecessary. Is there He's, ever? He said it. I think we're in the clear now, Chris. Look at that. Yeah. Boom. All right. Here's your. What if I just pulled out like a twenty? <laughs> <laughs> cool. No, All right, really. let's go to the casino. I, we could. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, for you guys, though, um, take a look at what happened uh, the rest of the first night, and then obviously the second night too. Take a look. Hey guys, we are in the building right now, as you can see behind me. Um, Jazz is down there, just chilling a little bit. Um, yeah, we're inside right now. It's very windy outside, and we've been hearing most of the noises in here. So Angelo thought we should sit in here and have our barbecue, because he's wild like that. Um, it's a nice way to do it. Yeah. I, I, I genuinely think, and I mean this, in, in the nicest way possible, I truly don't think he values his life. <laughs> I really believe that. He camps with bears and stuff in the mountain. Like, it's just crazy. I don't actually know, but... Yeah, I'll let you guys know. We, we had, like, a, a group meeting per se, and uh, we, we aren't 100% sure we're going to put our tents in here until we really know if there's someone in here or not. We might end up sleeping in our cars tonight, but, I mean, camping is camping at the end of the day, so in my eyes, we're still here. It's still creepy. It's still dark outside. Is that you, Angela? Where is it? Don't move for a sec. What is that? What the f is there another building? There is another building. There's another building. Did we check that place yet? No. But I, I thought I saw somebody earlier in there. You did say that. That's yeah. true. Do you mind if... Jazz, will you come with me? You want to go check the hallway? Yeah, Do you mind, Angelo? No, that's fine. I'll keep Oh, shoot. Here. You literally got, like, wood. Yeah, I got wood. This came from Missouri. <laughs> Does it burn better? I don't know. I it's just from needed it. The and then I realized Missouri. I didn't need it at the time. But... I'll be here, I guess. Uh, yes. I'm, going, I'm going with the Punisher, so I feel good about this. <laughs> Honestly, I feel safe with this more than like a knife. Do you have a flashlight? All we need is this. No, we need a flashlight. <laughs> I have a flashlight. <laughs> You're good, Angelo? Yeah. I just want to go look really quick. I'm... Set up the uh, grill and stuff. Dude, I appreciate that. So we can start cooking. I know, them steaks are like... <sighs> Mm, like so, this I'm thick. So hungry right what now? is that? Like six inches? So like this yeah, thick. Something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah those yeah. steaks are easily like a good like twelve ounce, fourteen ounce oh. maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be right back. Yeah. 
There actually might be someone in there. I'm telling you, just be careful out there. And I think there's somebody might definitely be in there. Well, squatters and my whole thought process is like, if we're going to set a tent up in the building back there, we should at least know for sure if there's someone in that building right. or any of the other buildings, you know? I'll get the beer in the meanwhile. I just got the beer, so that makes me feel a little better. Imagine it's just like one of them giant tarantulas, and he's just like in there, like, I don't know, making a peanut butter sandwich. He's in the corner, and he just... <laughs> So my question, Chris, is do tarantulas jump? Oh, these ones probably do. I heard they're nipped in jumping tarantulas, yeah. Jeez, this building is huge. Whoa, whoa, what was it? Here's the right. Oh, would you look at that? Shotgun mills. Yeah, we found some bullet casings earlier. There's more right here, nine mils. It's getting really cool right now too. That is one thing that I found kind of weird this week is that I did not experience like any cold weather at all. I've been in the desert all week and it's freezing cold right now. I mean, Jazz is wearing a hoodie. I mean, like look at him, bundled up. I have another one if you want to wear it. It's a medium. I'd probably fit around like half my arm. That's okay. Is that Angela? I mean, he's definitely not talking alone, right? Oh, he's already recording. There's so much right now. Bro, can you open up like Spirit Talker too before we go in here? Oh. Hello, is there anybody here with us right now? Dude. I don't know why I'm so uneasy, but this this place just does not feel welcoming. I feel like a lot of bad things really did happen here. Hello? From a story! One of my stories! Uh, it's about a guy named Thomas! He died here, right? Yes! Okay. What's the plans here, pal? You want me to go in there swinging? With this? Let's both go over there. Yeah, I know. I keep that out. Do you want me to hold the camera or do you want to go? No, it's fine. We can't. We can. Wrestle. Yeah, we're gonna go wrestle with whatever, whoever's in there. Hey, whoever's in there, we're about to wrestle. Bro. Yo. Wait, wait, wait. Bro, these so are, are Pradas. Are they really? Bro, these are probably like hundreds of dollars. Why would they be out here? No, no, no seriously. There's another piece of it right there. Yeah. What? How do you just lose your multiple hundred dollar glasses? Visual. Yep. <laughs> what glasses are, right? Can you just shine that light in there, like nice and bright? Hello? Anybody in there? Thomas? If we don't step on any nails or anything, you might get like Tetris or something, dude. That could be bad. I got, I got my Tetris stuff. Okay, cool. What's the back around the corner, like waiting for us? Who, the people. Oh, you're gonna work there? On the hill. On the hill. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello? Girl, there's a girl shoe, there's a girl shoe. 1970s. When did Thomas die? 1970s. Okay. Maybe 1980s? Processed. Processed. Bro, I filmed in here one time and I heard the loudest noises and ran out. I was by myself. I've been here since that happened and this place just freaks me out. Thomas. Four Are you okay? Are you stuck here, Thomas? Yo! Why do they call it that? It's not even floppy, they're like hard as a rock. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, it's a bird. Oh, it's just a bird. Dude, that was so freaky. Sorry, guys, I jumped in my own shadow. Oh. 
morning. 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 <laughs> <laughs> morning. morning. Is it morning or is it morning? A morning or some die. A dozen. A dozen. A dozen? A dozen death? Wait, check up on the hill. Look, we can see this one right now. I did see it on the hill. Relax! What was that bang? Angel? I hear footsteps. Oh. Those are footsteps clear as they ran inside the car. 100%. Angel, was that you? Who the hell is out there? Angel's all like, look at it, you can see his fucking lights. Bro, he's literally in the fucking building. Turn around. Alright, there's You're fucking up a floor! <laughs> Are they warning us of something though? What? Are they like warning us of something? Definitely Melissa? Is that what that said? What did Melissa do? Yeah, definitely Whoa. Melissa. Coyotes, coyotes, coyotes. What? They're mountain lions. Coyotes are mountain lions. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Be, be careful, be careful, be careful. Coyotes are mountain lions, bro. We might be fucked. Get that part of the Shut up! Angelo! Angelo, Angelo! Stop! Cowies or mountain lions? Something is howling right next to the fucking building out here. Yep, right next to us. He does not value his fucking life, I'm telling you. I'm getting the fucking door. I don't know. Dude. Stop the car for a sec. This car. I was just listening for a second. That's yeah. the problem is like, you have to worry about people, skinwalkers, allegedly, yes. and then obviously the worst, probably worst of all, the wildlife out here. Yes. Wildlife is so sketchy out here. The problem is that we do not have the proper protection that we need, that we can have from back home. Because you can't travel with that stuff out of state. I mean, you can in certain we regulations, but thing, guys, like, yeah, it's so hard to legally do all that. And regardless, we're not John Wick, guys. We're not going to play fucking superhero. <laughs> we're, we're out here trying to film videos for fun for you guys. And, and it's like, at the end of the day, when, it, when it's time to call it quits, I'm calling it quits. I'm sorry. Angelo is just over there, literally just starting the fire. I, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny or anything, but like, I really do value my life. 100%. I'm, I'm the same way. I don't, I don't, I think that tomorrow's a new day. We could come here earlier. We could, we could get a better, like, lay of the land. We could set up our tents earlier. The West Coast is large. We could go anywhere. We don't have to be here. I know. That's, that's the other thing, too. This place is so crazy. There's so much history here. There's, obviously, people come here and squat and stay and, and probably do bad things. That was clearly coyotes in my eyes. A lot of them. That was so fucking clear. And they're very territorial. I know, and, and how many people come here, but like they, they don't live here. You know, the coyotes probably live in this like valley that we're in right now. We're 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 in their home. We're invading. We're trespassing, and we don't have guns. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this, you guys. I'm sorry. I, that that freaked me out a lot. I would get to talk to Angelo and see what he wants to do, but I don't see myself getting out of the car and walking around outside anymore tonight. I was born, again, I told Jazz, I told them both when I got here. So again, I was in Barstow all week with my buddies, racing and stuff, and I talked to a bunch of people that live out in this general area, and I was like, hey, we're going to film some camping videos out here this week. And they told me I was a freaking moron. They said that the wildlife is the number one thing you worry about out here. They say people go missing all the time because of bobcats, mountain lions, and things like that. We had an experience recently with a bobcat. We just heard that. I just, I just don't know how much of that stuff I, I want to like keep pushing my fate with, you know? And, and I know it sounds stupid, but like, once again, we have a hotel room 
back in Vegas. Mm -hmm. It's booked for every single night we're going to be here. Yeah. And it's like, we, we could keep pushing the, the boundaries of this dumb shit, or we, we could play it safe. Be smart about this. And I'm then, sorry, like, but I want to I want to play it smart every time. Like, sure, we can we can push and have a great video, everything's through the roof, activity, and we're freaking out and everything. But is it really worth one our sanity and two our fucking safety? I don't think no, so. I don't it's think it's not. worth it at all. You can call me whatever, but I'm 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 yeah. trying to be smart here. Like I'm. It's not comforting at all, bro. There's fucking eyes. I swear, to God, I just saw one of those fucking animals move right there. They might actually be surrounding our fucking area right here. That's what worries me. Bro, I, I just want you to understand this really quick. Just please understand. In the desert, there's probably not much to eat. There's hair, uh, bunnies, etc. And Angela's over there with a multiple Steaks. pieces of meat right now. Actually, that's probably what's drawing them in. I didn't even think I, about I'm dead that. fucking serious. We, we actually... Might have drawn them in. Yep. Well, he's got a fire going. Okay. Which means he's cooking and which means it's going to smell strong. I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, this is the worst idea we've had in a long time. What do you want to do? Can we talk to him? There's no talking him out of this. I tried. We tried to talk him out of this off camera already. It wasn't happening. So it's like, yeah. We just ran back to the car saying, "Dogs, dogs." That like there's coyotes, and he said, "Okay," and then started the fire. So. Yeah, I don't feel I don't feel safe here. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this place, but nothing ever feels right here. And I think it could be because we're so far out in the middle of nowhere, with no help, no phone service, no one's coming for us if something happens. No one's gonna come looking for us. Is the problem? It's just us in the desert, and that's all we have right now. We don't know anybody out here. So, if you guys are religious, pray for us. If you guys are, if you guys believe in something, if you don't, just just wish us the best, please. Because I don't know what's gonna happen tonight, but something in my chest tells me it's 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 not gonna be good. Whatever it is. Yo yo. Uh okay. Uh that's close. I actually think someone's coming up here. Angel, I think someone's driving in right now. Really? Yeah, legit. We just saw a light. Oh, for f sake, dude. Oh, there it is again, right there. You see it? Yep, straight in front of us. It was like. It's right there. It's just flashing. You see it? It's right here. It's, it's literally right here. That's a car, yeah. That's literally a car. It's not that down there, though. It's over to the left. I see that light down there, but yeah, but that's how the hill is. The hill goes over here and then comes around. Wait, there it is, right there. Yeah, yeah. You see it. Clear as day. Somebody is coming in. Where'd they go? So, our barbecue. Right. It's close. Yeah. Yeah, they must be coming up that. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. We're hearing strange noises, but then we heard coyotes or. Mountain lions, I'm not exactly sure what it was, but... They were literally right behind that building. Right behind the building. So we ran over here, we're freaking out, and we tell Angelo, Angelo, dogs, dogs, we gotta get out of here. Uh, hence why the car's on, because we really thought it was time to go, right? Angelo, once again, not taking life seriously at all. I just want to show you this. Um, this is what Angelo's been up to. So he's got the fire going. He's grilling. Um, what we got? You want to check your steak, Chris? I mean, I can, I can smell from here. It's, it's, it's perfect. Yeah, they're done. So hypothetically speaking, right? Mm -hmm. Coyotes in the desert probably don't have as much to eat as coyotes like in the forest and whatnot. Yeah, Dude, look at the size of these steaks. We could literally beat the shit out of a coyote with those fucking things. This guy is so unserious. It's, a, it's, it's amazing. I, I love it. It, make, it does make me feel a little bit better inside, knowing that, you know, he, he'd throw his life. <laughs> Yeah, um, j yeah. I just wanted to update you guys, but I'm gonna. It might be a good idea to go just drive down there just to see. Probably will be. Yeah. At least just me and you while he's going to town over here. There's just a lot. Yeah, there's a lot happening. Uh, I don't know why there's lights coming from different directions, and obviously people know about this place. They can come out here, but who would come out on a Tuesday night like this late? You know, it's almost one in the morning. I just don't understand. Oh. We're the only idiots who should be out here. You're right. Theoretically, yeah. All right, guys, so I want to give an update on everything that's happened in the past 30 minutes or so. So we just ate uh, great steaks, by the way. Thank you, Angela. Great chef. Um, so we waited, and we kept looking at those lights. They eventually just disappeared. 
And I want to mention something. There's one road into this place and one road out. It's, it's that main road down there. So a couple of things may have happened. They may have shut their lights off. They could be campers like us. We can't discard that. But also we do know that there are signs that people have been here recently, potentially staying here. That's questionable. I guess we'll find out soon, right? You know? So much noises in this place. <sighs> Anywho, there's a lot of things to worry about with these types of videos. Obviously flying out here, uh, we don't have our guns. Because once again, we can't bring them on a plane. We we could probably, but can't cross the border fine. So <laughs> yeah, lots of steps to go through that. So we're out here in California at the moment with no protection, apart from this metal bar and Angel's knife. Which I don't even know where that is right now. I think it's down there somewhere. That's good. That's fantastic. Anyways, yeah. um, so so that's the thing with these types of videos, right? We have to worry about people, which is honestly at the top of my concerns. Right under that is wildlife, like the coyote that we heard earlier, mountain lions, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. But then also paranormal activity. And I'll be honest with you, that's the least of my concerns. When you have these very dangerous instances that are possibly approaching, you tend to kind of freak the fuck out. So I want to share with you guys some of the stories that we found surrounding not only this particular place, but just the area in general. I did mention that there is a cave that we're also going to be trying, probably maybe tomorrow night or the night after. But regardless, kind of just wanted to set the mood for you guys and hopefully paint a picture for you. So there's my phone. So Chris mentioned a little bit about it, but there was recorded deaths yeah, about this place. A few, like multiple. So do you know what happened? Um... Was it just like mill accents when this <clears throat> was active? I wrote them down if you want to check really quick. You I mean, keep that going. seems likely. I mean, it is a mill. Yeah, there was always some accidents. In a mill, right? um, so there's one. Um, we were talking earlier. I got the name Tom. Literally right here. A guy named Tom Reeves in my story that I found. Um, apparently something happened and he fell and slipped headfirst into a chemical solution. Um, a cyanide lace solution claimed his life and his, hour, his body was barely... Um, recognizable and they recovered it hours later um that's one of them another one is um someone named jack back in 1989 the mill was on the verge of shutting down you know gold prices were kind of plummeting a little bit workers were laid off um essentially they say that um this man fell into a um i'm sorry where'd it go i just read it okay so he went missing essentially jack went missing um he was upset after getting laid off his wife went to find him they found his truck here did not find him. And they said that it's still a mystery to this day. They have no idea what happened to him. He's still not, he's never been found. That's scary, bro. 1989. That's like That's 60, 60 years ago. It's really not yeah. that far. You hear that a lot about the desert and genuine, genuinely like just California, Nevada, New Mexico, Arizona, like this area. It's easy to go missing, right? Yeah. So, or to get lost anyways. You gotta Any, think, anything can happen out here. Yeah, and when you're thinking about something like, you know, someone getting laid off and then going missing, Think about the emotion that was here. You know, people people were dedicated to this craft, making money, supporting their families, and then the mill shuts down and it's over. So that's it. Yeah. And I feel like that could be part of the reason why we're hearing so much weird, like just things tonight. Like maybe it's just like a cry for help or like. Hey, you know, you really never know. Yeah, I that's know. the thing. And Chris was going to focus more on like the actual recorded instances for his stories. I have some of the stories about the skinwalker sightings as well as the paranormal experiences out here, which could tie into some of the things that we've already experienced tonight. So I guess I'll just read this to you and I'll let you guys be the judge. I definitely just heard that over there. I don't know about you guys. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> it's strange here, to say the least. Wait, hold on. Hello? All right, guys, we may not be alone right now. Somebody up there? 
Loud and clear, partner. So here we go. Skinwalker sightings near the Gold Dome Mill. In the late summer of 1997, that's when I was born. Look at that. Maybe I was a skinwalker in my past life. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> in the late summer of 1997, a group of amateur prospectors ventured into the Mojave Desert near the abandoned Gold Dome Mill. Drawn by rumors of hidden gold as they set up camp, they heard local tales of skinwalkers, shape-shifting entities from Navajo legend said to roam the desolate areas at night. Dismissing the stories as mere folklore, they pressed on with their plans. One evening, as dusk fell and the desert chill set in, the group noticed a strange figure in the distance, partially obscured by the twisted Joshua trees. It was hunched and moving unnaturally, resembling a large coyote but with an unsettling gait. The group's laughter faded as the creature let out a bone-chilling howl that echoed through the canyon, which freaks me out because that's what we were hearing when we were in that building over there. 100%. Maybe I'll go ahead over there in a little bit too, uh, just to kind of give you guys an, just a better idea of what our surrounding looks like. There's a lot around us, but at the same time, there's nothing. Like where this building is, it's on top of a mountain. And once again, the road going in takes about 35 minutes of just one road, unpaved, to get here. Misery. It, it's sketchy. And we're in a Nissan Altima, so uh, God forbid we got a flat tire. We're, we're indestructible, bro. It's okay. Yeah. That's what the insurance is for. Always Jeez. get the insurance on a rental car. Always. <laughs> Curiosity peaked. Two members of the group decided to investigate. Armed with flashlights, as they approached, the creature seemed to morph, its silhouette shifting in and out of the shadows. The air turned heavy, and an oppressive silence blanketed the area. When they were within 50 feet, the figure suddenly stood upright, looking like a gaunt, emancipated human with hollow eyes staring back at them. Panic set in, and the two men ran back to the camp, their hearts racing. The rest of the group laughed it off until they noticed their gear had been disturbed. Food was scattered, and strange tracks, unlike anything they'd ever seen before, circled their camp. The tracks seemed to disappear into the darkness, leading them to believe that they were not alone. The following night... The following night. So they stayed. <laughs> After Insanity. all this. Insanity. Yeah, they were, they were like, you know so what? They did like a 40 hour thing, man. Yeah. The story about Angelo, possibly? Or? Me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the following night, as the group sat around the fire, they heard whispers carried by the wind, unintelligible but chilling. One by one, the men began to experience vivid nightmares about being hunted. Yeah. The atmosphere grew tense, and the feeling of being washed became unbearable. By dawn, only one of the prospectors remained, convinced he had witnessed a skinwalker's true form. The others had fled in fear, leaving behind their supplies and dreams of gold. To this day, locals still whisper about the night when the desert echoed with a hollowing presence, warning others to steer clear of Gold Dome Mill. And, you know, that really does put things into perspective about this place, because a lot of people came out here seeking gold. Yeah. And... It wasn't even just the people who were actually out here working. It was once this place went abandoned, obviously there's probably still gold here to this day. 100%. And people, I mean, shit, I'd do it. But at the end of the day, they come out here and you also hear these rumors. And, you know, you fuck around, you find out, really, is really all it is. And I'm, I'm one of those people, too, where it's like, I don't believe it until I see it. So I'd probably push the boundaries as well. But I've had enough strange experiences in my life now that I truly do believe in these skinwalker beings, shape-shifting beings, because I've seen things that I can't explain. Yeah, not for real. And, I mean, earlier, I think it was when you were filming, when we were in the back, by the... I mean, where we keep hearing those noises? Where we keep hearing those noises. There was a bush, and it looked like there was something tall. It had to have been like eight, nine feet behind it, and it just like hid behind it, and then that was it. Mm. Couldn't see it anymore. So very, very strange. Like right now, I truly feel like I could stand up and die. <laughs> it's just because like, I feel like there's something near us. Yeah. It's such a strong presence. It, it, you just I don't know. know, man. You just don't know. We're out never, here in nowhere. Never know. That's the... Know who, who or what is out here. You may never know. I mean, it's partly the land too, right? Maybe the land is cursed. You never really know. You're I mean, bodies. On it, bodies. Bodies missing. Yeah. It did say graveyard earlier in the spear box. You know, there it said things be, like shapeshifters. There could be an unknown burial site, literally right where we're sitting right now. We have no idea, and they just went a building right on top of it. And that's the thing with like these sort of investigations. If if you do go missing out here in the desert, it's it's very very uncommon that you will be found. Mm -hmm. Very uncommon because so many things could happen. 
Who's coming to look for you? One who's coming to look for you. There's so much dangerous wildlife out here too, where it's like, there's not much else to eat. Let's put it that way. No, I mean, yeah, that's 100% true. Just factual information. And it's scary. Very it's very scary. scary. Yeah. That's scary. why I am glad that, you know, we did come here together. And I think about it, but to think that I even came here before alone is insane. In fucking sane. And now I'm just like, yeah. But anywho, guys, um, I'm actually going to go take a look down at that building again. I know how stupid this sounds because of what we experienced in there earlier with like what sound like coyotes or I, I don't know. But um, I want to go take a look. I'll bring you guys along with me. Um, I know Angelo and both Chris are going to share some of their own stories over on their channels, personal stories from other people different from mine. So make sure to go check out their channels once again. And uh, I guess, yeah, I'll see you guys once I start heading. Hey, yo. See something? A light. Like actually a fucking light from that building. Yeah, just be careful. Oh no, um, I'm not going alone now. Okay. Cause I, th those cars that were down there that <laughs> never showed up. Right. If they did walk up here. It's like they just lined up and then just like, like they were coming this way and just disappeared. Okay. Um, well, this is scary. All right. So we're currently loading up right now, putting everything back in and, uh, probably gonna sleep in the cars for tonight i'll be 100 percent honest with you i don't think camping in here is even remotely a possibility uh but chris is willing to go with me down to the other building over here more so because of the light that i saw earlier just to play it safe um even if we're gonna sleep here in the cars i want to make sure that we're the only people here so what are you looking at what's on your mind there's a there's a car coming up Wait, here like yeah, there's see it. Oh shit, there is a car coming. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, it's, it's been moving. It's flickering. For a long time. Okay, I'm standing still right now. It's moving. Yeah, that was something that was really loud, Angel. It's like a rock just fell behind the My camera's tweaking out, but. I don't yeah. Think, I don't think we should do anything more on this property. I really think we should all just leave. Like, we keep pushing this more and more and more. For what? Do we want something bad to happen? Like, I don't understand. That's the thing, is like, I almost feel like. I'm letting people down if I leave early, we'll considering we flew across the country. At this point, I really don't give a fuck, respectfully. I don't give a shit. And Chris will say this. Chris can vouch for me. We film together a lot. I never, it's very rare for me to say, like, let's leave this early in the night because I have a bad gut feeling. It's usually, more so it's usually the other way around or, you know, yeah. Ben's there, Ben will also say it. Right now, I'm literally... I was, I've been begging Angelo to fucking leave. And finally, he's actually packing up. So. We maybe got like a good 10, 15, 20 minutes before that car does reach us. I'm just going to go check over that building quick. Chris, don't, don't feel obligated to come. I'm going to go check quick. I'll be right back. It's fine. I'll come with you, bro. I just don't. I think it's so stupid. Like, closer? We literally almost had like. Very slowly. It's. Getting closer. Coyotes almost attacked us earlier. I mean, like, we don't have any more. But my question is, was it coyotes? Yeah, it was clear as day. I do fear, like... Whoa, whoa. Wait, what'd you hear? Same shit from before. It was like the high pitch. Bro, if you want to go, let's just go. I just like don't want to do this. Uh, no, we just heard something. Here, Chris, you, you mind if holding this? I'll pull up my flashlight. Thank you. I will say, it's a lot different than camping in like a forest. Like... I hear a car engine. Yeah. 
very faint in the distance. Now here's the thing though, I don't want to immediately assume the worst and be like, oh, the person coming up is like a serial killer. But the, the matter of the fact is like, I don't know someone's intentions and things happen out here and people shoot and have guns. And once again, we're in the middle of the desert so far away from civilization. I'm just saying. This is the filing cabinet thing I mentioned earlier. Someone said they found a journal that had like personal stories from like Damn. someone worked here and stuff. Insane, dude. All right, so I saw a light here. Is anybody in there? That's Angelo packing up, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Fuck it. Coming in, if there's anybody in here. The scary part right now is there's no wind at all. The heel on the floor. Only a week left. There's the newspapers. I'm sorry, not only to you guys, but you as well, because like I feel like I'm such a buzzkill tonight, because like I really don't, I'm not in the mood for anything. This is just the weirdest. I, I've never felt more in danger than I do this whole night, and now, and I, I literally feel like no matter where I look, I feel like there's something or someone or whatever just watching. That's the weirdest feeling in the world. Anybody out there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, let's just go back. Let's play this safe. <sighs> Chris, I hear a voice. It doesn't sound like Angelo's. Wait a second. I heard Angelo, but what the f was that? What was that? There's probably somebody down there, bro. That's what I'm saying. We keep hearing all this wild shit. What else do you think it is? There's probably someone down there like, trying to come up with us, come fuck with us, come get our shit. It could literally be anything, bro. That's the one thing like I really do worry no, we've seen like, the fucking car, about though. the we've desert. Car and oh, shit! Chris, Chris, Chris. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Go, 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 go. So, I'm popping in right now because it's 2.15 in the morning. And remember how we told you guys there's only one way into the mill that we were just at? One way in, one way out. Well, that uh, one way in, one way out is uh, currently blocked by a train. It's not moving. It stretches for what feels like forever on both sides. So, <sighs> the problem now is we actually might be stuck here for the night because we don't know what's going on here. There, There is no sort of like deposit here. There's there's nothing for this train to drop off or pick up here. One, two, 
Once again, it's 2.15 in the morning. Something must have happened, like a derailment or something. Why else would a train be stopped like this? This is, this is actually horrifying. This, this is, is truly like a horrifying. nightmare. Like, like a legitimate, like you're stuck and you have no other option right now. There's a light oh there. shit, you have cars. There's lights, there's cars. I just seen that, there's a car on the other side. Bro, yo, what if they did some shit? What do you mean? Like, what if they were like fucking like, what if they hijacked the train or something? I'm not, I'm not being funny at all. I'm that's, serious. No, you're. Th that's a crazy that's assumption, but like, this thing. The problem is, is like we actually are stuck here. If people start walking out through here, we need to back up and do the quickest three point turn you've ever done. But we then what? And we we're we're still stuck. I don't care. Start heading back to the, to the mill or something. I'm not gonna stay here and just get like overtaken. No, no, absolutely. You're absolutely right. I think it's a good idea to just keep our eyes peeled. And you know what, guys? I was just telling Chris, I apologize to Chris, and I was like, I, I'm sorry because I feel like I was such a buzzkill tonight because I'm not usually like this. I usually try to push boundaries, but I've had the worst gut feeling the oh, entire night. Oh. We should have left when I said we should have left when we got there. This is now... What happened? What you hear? Someone's walking over here somewhere. Where's your flashlight? Um, my we're sitting right there. It's right here. Is it dead? I know. I heard it's not someone was walking right here. That's Angel was through something, I don't know. No, he's also still just like kind of dancing. Yeah. I don't know if it's energy right now. He has a lot of energy. You guys see that red light right there? That's also a part of the same train. So this is a very, very long train. And we're kind of just here. I'll pull up just a little bit more just to show you guys. But I mean, not for nothing. You can't see much there, but. I don't know. I truly don't know what to do. I guess um, we'll keep you guys updated. Uh, worst comes to worst, we I can't believe I'm saying this. We turn around and actually spend the night at the mill. This is literally, I, I mean, this, this might be one of the worst nights of my life. All right, guys, so it's the following night and we just arrived to our next location. It's somewhere up there. Uh, this is new territory for all of us, but this is a location that people call Skinwalker Mine. <sighs> Two Skinwalker locations within 48 hours is fun. Um, so just to recap on some of the things that happened last night, as you guys saw, there was a train that was blocking the road. That train actually broke down. We called the emergency number that was on a sign with the blinking red lights. And they told us that there's another train coming to fix it, but it was going to take hours. We didn't get back to our hotel room until about five o'clock in the morning. And we were just absolutely horrified because of everything that we were experiencing that entire night. But you know what? We thought about it. I will say this location is probably arguably scarier than the one we were at last night, just based on the stories that we were told. So our friend sent us the coordinates to this location. He said that he went in here keep in mind alone he came here alone he said it was the only car here he said he pulled off in the pull-off so i'm assuming it's this because it's like the only pull-off here is where we parked um and then he went up there and he said there's a cave with like two entrances he said he went in by himself just one flashlight and explored the entire thing he said he was in about five minutes and he started hearing voices but like further into the cave system he kept on going because he's a psychopath and doesn't value his life just as much as this guy over here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he reached the end and there was nobody. He then heard a noise from the outside of the cave, like another voice. He went towards the outside, nobody there. But then he heard a scream from inside the cave and that's what sent him on his merry way and he left and never came back. I know what it was. What do you think it was? Lack of oxygen. Think so? Yeah. 
Really? Mm. Probably. They could yeah. do it, yeah. No, yeah. you literally will get down to the, yeah. like, points to certain it's caves like the, in Nevada and California. Like, you're supposed to bring gas meters with you. Yeah. Really? Like, if well, there's not enough oxygen. It's like the blue gas or whatever they Yeah, call it, right? there's, like, invisible yeah, the gas. you go, there's, like, dense gas that you're... Like, like pockets of it sit. That shit, that, that shit, people have died from that. See, like, I'm not a big cave guy. I watched that one about the uh, Nutty Putty Cave. Have you guys... The what? Heard, the Nutty Putty Cave? Yeah. Okay. That that shit traumatized me. I have not heard of it. And ever since then, I've just not been into caves. So the guy I, like died, like he fell like this, and his like head was down, he was his stuck. legs. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So. And then there's that other one with the guy like he had to cut his own arm off. Was his name like James Franco or something? I don't. What? The fuck? what? He got sounds like horrible. stuck out in the desert, and he got like. Did he actually he happen? Got, like, yeah, he that was legit. He like got wedged in between two rocks. I think like a rock fell and like literally wedged his arm and he was there for like three days and then eventually he like realized no one's coming to save him so it's either he cuts his own arm off or he dies. I thought you were talking about the actor James Franco. Oh. Wait James Franco. Oh my fucking gosh. Was? Okay. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. Um, so he said it was up here to the right. I'm assuming the mountainous area up there. Do you have your brighter flashlight? Yeah. Oh, There's a bunch of dirt moved over there. So if e I want to ask, have either of you guys went caving before? Uh, like a couple times. Not yeah. by choice. So you have? Yeah. yeah. I've done it a few times here. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be, you guys are popping my cherry tonight. Really? Yes. <sighs> it's not exactly how I want to do it, but... <laughs> they did take me out to dinner first, so... <laughs> no. We took Chris out to dinner. That is true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That was a great birthday, didn't it? Yeah, happy birthday, Chris. Everyone wish Chris a happy Woo! birthday down in the comments. Thank you, guys. What a legend. He's finally turned 21. I wish. I'm old as shit. Whoa. That was you guys? No. So apart from the Skinwalker stuff, this place is also notoriously haunted. Um... I guess we'll kind of dabble our toes into everything. Dip our toes into the sand, I guess. Dip them in. I guess we'll check this out. Um, oh. We have our tents too. Can we take the camera for a second? Yeah. What's up? I think my nose is bleeding. Is it? Oh shit. Yo, his nose is actually bleeding. Oh yeah. Don't show this. I don't know. No, I'm not going to show that. Ew, yeah. what the fuck? Are you alright? My nose bleeding. I haven't touched it. I've been on here for over a week. Like, there's no way. Here, let me wipe my hand off quick. No, you're good. Do you want me to hold the camera? No, it's fine. I can hold it. <sighs> sorry, sorry, sorry. We're good, we're good. Some tissues or what? That's yeah. freaky. I hate when the shit happens. Like, four bucks film. Yeah. Remember when we talk about the paranormal yeah. stuff, this guy's getting bloody noses. Well, it's only happened one other time. It was at the Bel Air house, so that's not good memories. Okay, that's crazy because I just seen eyes up here. Really? Like red eyes. Yeah, like right above where that pointy rock is to the right. This thing? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, that. Okay. What, what is this shit? I don't know. I mean, what I saw was kind of small. Okay. It was a mouse. Oh. Oh, maybe it was just a mouse. What's a. No. It's, okay. like, a little it's like a fucking. Bigger than a mouse. Hmm. What was that? Okay. Um, he didn't give us the best. I, I don't see a cave, guys. Well, I mean, he said it's off to the right. So, are they like here somewhere? There's a lot of footprints and stuff this way. Wait, I thought I saw something up there. I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Would you go caving? Like, would you go deep in? I know that I, claustrophobia is a huge thing for people. I can say I thoroughly enjoy going into caves. Deep into them. Thanks for the emphasis. I'm a, oh, I see it. I literally see it. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's kind of small. Oh. oh. Is it fenced off, though? Oh, there's a bigger one see up the there. See the fence right there, though? Oh, there's a third spot, I think. Wait, why is it fenced off? Wait, we can't go in. Mm. What a bummer. Hello? All right. It's really weird how it's like 105 degrees during the day and then at night it's actually cold. 
Yeah, it's kind of strange. Oh, fall. dude, that goes deep in. Wow. Oh, good God. Well, that's what I call a crevice. Okay. Yeah. that? We should probably uh, also scope out the perimeter of this just to make sure we're safe. So I'm gonna like high pitched voice. Did you not hear that though? Hold on, hold on, let's be dead quiet for a sec. Hello? I hear something. I do hear something, yeah. Yeah, it's very faint. What wasn't that? It was like something that cried. I was like. <sighs> okay, um, folks. Oh, what is that? Is that clothes? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a black bag. Oh, look, buckets. Damn it. These Crocs weren't made for this. I also don't want to hear from you guys. I left my boots back at the... Wait a fucking second, bro. Yo, car. Okay, never mind. They're driving. No, I've, I've, I've been here before. You yeah? have? Yeah, like a year and a half ago. Oh. What the fuck? Really? You sure it's this one? Hold on. Hold see. on. Okay. Bro, here, I'll I'm, go to I'm like 90% sure I've been here before. Are yes. Sh Holy shit. The fucking cavern right there. Oh my god. I got chills right now. This is so weird. You were actually here before. It was over uh, almost probably two years now. 2023, like March. So, did you go in? I, yeah, I did the whole thing. I did the whole really? fucking cave. Really? Like me, like CJ, his family, like his mom and sister. It was terrifying, dude. It was so creepy. What'd you inside. experience? We don't mind asking. We constantly, so we came here in the daytime and explored the whole thing. I came back at night with CJ and we heard voices in the cave. It was fucking weird that the story, I didn't even think about it. Um, we were up here and we went down a little bit and we heard like a scream and voices and we literally ran from here all the way down to the car. Mm. But we ran this way. I remember because I went down that side and I outran CJ. I was like, see you, bro. Dude, I don't like this place. So, this place is terrifying. What's up with the buckets? Chairs? Maybe. They're very close. Cool. Oh, the ant was living in there. That's what. Oh, okay. okay. That's that makes that a lot of sense. Everything. No, but all jokes aside, this cave has a lot of fucked up history. Many, many, many people have died in this cave. I swear to God, this cave is insane. And we're gonna be spending the night inside. I would not have came here if I knew like this is the okay. location. Do you know how they died? I think there were a couple mining accidents, and I think people mm -hmm. came here. Exploring, I guess. Mm, just running from maybe the law. Okay. And you're almost over an hour from Vegas. You're over an hour and a half from any, from other any cities, hospital or hospitals, gas stations, anything. And people just ended up here. So, so this was barbed for. It's always kind of been like that. Oh, yo! What the hell, that was a that's, voice. That's what I'm talking about. We had that shit happen so many times. Not just at nighttime and daytime too. You hear shit like that. Yeah, I thought I saw something back there. What'd you see? Oh, it looked like something was like peeking out there for a oh, second. Really easy to get like, lost in this cave. On that right side, but like on the left part of that wall. Hello? There's so many ways in here. Dude, this is a freaky ass cave, I'm telling you. This is not somewhere you want to like. Hold on, look at this. What? It's a black widow spider. A black widow? Yeah. I see the red on its back. Really? I, I didn't know they had them out here. Actually terrifying. Yeah, I don't know. Bro, 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 bro. Who was that? Someone just moved in here. It almost sounded like, like a rock fell or something. Hello? <gasps> Yo, look, there's fresh graffiti or a spray paint can right there, too. Do you see that? There's something hanging from the ceiling, too. Is it? Yeah, over here. Something blue right there. I don't know. So, sometimes people do leave like string and stuff behind because if they get lost, they follow it back. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, but there? Dude, Angelo, can you come here for a sec? Yeah. Can you shine that deeper? Oh my god! Yeah. No, that shit goes down probably like a couple hundred feet. Really? What? Probably more than that. It probably goes, you could probably walk straight down there for five minutes or so. Like straight without stopping. So you can go right or left? Straight, right. The right goes around to the left. Like it, it all connects. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. But the problem is when you get down to the bottom bottom, you run out of air. You literally run out of air. We almost died down there. Not like an black widow? Dude, I'm sorry. I didn't know that we were coming here. I'm so freaked out right now. I don't like this place. It's funny because our friend sent us the coordinates and we were like, yo, cool. <laughs> yeah. Let's go do it. Last night yeah. was kind of a fail. So let's, uh, you know, try it.
fired. But Boom. we don't live out here. Like we don't come out here that often. So when you come to places like this, like once or twice, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I remember the, the, the here, desert you know? all looks the same. So it does. When you go down one trail or another, it's kind of like we've been driving for hours today. We've been all over. Look the place. at all this shit in here. Oh, sorry. One more thing. Holy shit! I totally forgot. The last time we were here, we found um, documentation that was essentially like a restraining order. Damn. The weirdest part about it was that the restraining order was from the court of Massachusetts. Oh. Think about how far we are from there. Cross country. Yeah. Somebody ran here and was here staying here with all their belongings, but we could not find them. That's scary. We called the police and let them know, and we never heard anything back from it. But yeah. How, how far is Massachusetts from here? Uh, it's got to be Just as far as from where we came from, two, New York. 2,000, 2,500 miles? Yeah, we're probably looking at like a two day drive. That's a fair decision. Over that. Over? Probably almost yeah. three. What is so this? Just, I don't know. Keep your eyes peeled tonight. Like, yeah. just Keep your eyes open for like snakes and shit. Sure. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's true. What is that? It says this personal Jeez. property box. Oh, this is a medical center. Can I? Can you hold this for a second? Yeah. This personal property box belongs to Ray? Raymond? Date of birth? 45. 1945. Holy cow. That's very old. Did they have plastic cases back in 1945? What do you think? There was like a new invention or something? I'm just saying. <laughs> how, how do you know? Didn't they have plastic back then? I, I genuinely don't know if you're being serious. I'm being serious, bro. Do you think the, the World, color orange came out back then? It was then like World too? War I. Like, tell me. Like, did they have plastic back then? I don't know. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Just a shotgun shell. Sniff it. There's like a barcode on here and everything. With the name. I just, that's so weird. Oh, wait. What the fuck was that? Oh, no. Yo, okay. Voices, bro. You're literally hearing voices in here. Hello? Alright, um... We heard whatever the hell we heard earlier. Yeah, yeah, listen, listen, listen. But there's that, a voice that person from the cave. Animal. What do you think that is? That's a voice, I'm literally, telling you. Like, sounds like somebody is down there right now or something. What the fuck was that? Something's moving. Should we throw a rock in there and see if like... Throw one down and see if anything happens, yeah. Okay. Down that. You get your lead pipe. It's your first starter item in like every video game. All right. I didn't want to show off my skills like this, but okay. Well, never, I'm never doing day. that again. Let's fast forward to this. Yeah, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> okay, I oh might as well. Oh my god. Nobody here wanna. Oh my god, I missed. I thought you. you watched baseball. That doesn't mean I'm good at it. Oh. I play soccer my whole life. Okay. <laughs> Dude, there's shit happening everywhere. Okay, um... First off, Wait, that let's, black... Let's, let's... Yo, is there someone in there? I'm not saying that there is, but it's possible. Oh. Well, you tell me that there absolutely could be. This Hello? Can you whistle, Chris? I'm not trying to like ruin your night, but I brought my in this cave. I swore once I came out last time I would never go in. Really? I'm seriously not going. I don't blame you. And I'm going to be honest, like I have that gut feeling in my stomach. I might just go kind of check in. But yeah. I, I want to make a perimeter check first, make sure we're safe. Um, I'd, two, go, I'd go in the daytime, but nighttime I'm not doing it. Yeah, fair. Maybe. Very fair. What are the odds that like a cave collapses on us too when we're in there? It like a mine? This, this cave is probably a couple hundred years old, so very possible. So like if I was to accidentally hit it with this metal pipe? Very good chance. No, seriously. No, I was joke. just asking. I'm, just no, asking. Legitimately, I'm yeah. not trying to be funny. I'm dead serious. Okay. Like you could probably collapse us in here if you were the one to. I don't want to, but good to know I could. Oh, and that is the thing too. Part of the cave on the right, right side is collapsed. Really? Inside, yes. Okay, so if we went down like a path, for example, it could collapse on us? Anytime. 
There's no telling, truthfully. I hate to say that, but you just don't know. Well, okay. Um, I this, guess... This shit's haunted, bro. I'm telling you, this cave has some really, really dark history. All right, well, um, I guess let's take a look around. Make sure that, you know, we are safe here for the moment. I would probably uh, just be safe. And um, I guess... Yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. Well, we just said our goodbyes. Um, it was nice knowing you. What the f What are you guys doing? He's going in the Group cave up. alone. Come, I know, but why this. Why would you say goodbye? Come here, buddy. That's Come like here. shitty. Come here, buddy. Come if on. I don't make it out, you can have my left driver's side rim. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm going to go start cleaning that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no hope for you. So he wants to do this shit alone. Mm -hmm. um, good luck. All right. We're gonna go check the perimeter. Uh, so make sure to go check out Angelo's channel, cause um, I mean, if anything, it'll be like found footage. So that's pretty cool. How are we gonna get the camera though? I mean, if you find the camera and I'm not there, then it's found footage, right? Okay. Cool. All right. G L H F. Thanks. G F Y F. Hags. Hags. <laughs> Have a good summer. All right. Well, me and Chris are gonna go investigate out here and see if we could get any sort of paranormal activity or evidence chris has a really bad feeling about tonight so chris tell me what are you feeling right now something up on that hill i know that for a fact i've already seen eyes multiple times like you um, think it's human eyes or you no. think it just said we know what you the fuck that scares it's the talking shit about you i've been here before dude i, I know 100 i believe it i don't know I just, it's uneasy and i always had this like vision in my head that something's gonna come running down the hill and like attack me because look at it like it's just like with two legs or four, four probably. Oh okay. If I'm being realistic, sorry. It's it's probably me. All right. Well, good luck, know, Angel. Man. This is just a rough one. Recorder. Yeah. Is there any like a certain amount of time? Should we set like a limit? Should we come find you after so long? Like. I, mean, I guess like an hour. An hour? hour. I mean, if like I don't think I'll be in there for an hour. Okay. If I'm. You could always just shoot us a text. Just kidding. We don't have service. What happened? What did you see? It's all like a glow of light. Is there a mountain like right there? Is that ahead of us? There's uh, there is in every direction. Yeah. Yeah, so I just saw like this weird like glow of light. What's that? This flashlight. Here. Your flashlight makes noises? Yeah, when it goes to the... Oh. Box. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> it vibrates. <laughs> it vibrates, yeah. Jeez, it sounds like a fucking person. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I've heard that three times tonight. I thought I saw like a weird like hovering light right there, but... Then again, UFO yeah, yeah. stuff does happen out here. I've seen two shooting stars since we've been here. I mean, it's. Did you make a wish? Always, yeah. Okay. Can't say what. But yeah. So I, I did wish that Scratch. I wasn't here. Scratch. Scratch. Yeah. No, that's not. Which happening. one of us? You. No thanks. 1900s. This cave is a lot older than that. It's almost. Is uh, it really? Yeah. Trap. Trap. Uh, don't get trapped. Bro, I do not want to go down. <laughs> What's up? Is your Ooh. nose bleeding again? Yeah, bro. What the fuck? Give me a second. You want to stay back? I'll go look around. Uh, whatever you want to do, bro. Yeah, I'll go take a look around, bro. Okay. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, Chris is definitely getting affected. Angelo's lost his mind. Because I would not... What did I say? You lose. Chris, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I feel a little lightheaded, but I'm good. I really do think it's trying to affect Chris. Two times already saying you lose, we know you. Did you have these sort of like symptoms last time you were here? Never. Literally, this only happened to me one time. Not like this, dude, no. Uh, the responses are basically saying that they're happy that it's happening to you. That's, that's good. That's good. Because I don't want to be here. That's why. Do you want to come with me or you want to stay up there? I'll come. I'll come. Okay. He's going to come. Oh. Never mind. Left side. Left side. Well, Angelo's going into the left side. Bye, Angelo. 
See you, buddy. I, I would. We're, we're going to go inside too, guys. It's just, we're going to, um, I more so just want to check like the perimeter first uh, before we do it. What was that? You heard that, Chris? Yeah, what was that? Um, it's not like it was back towards the cars. Angel said he sees a snake. Do you? I think so. He sees a snake. Oh god. Is it big? Really? Where is it? Hang on one sec. Where? Does it have one of those noise machines on the tail? I can't tell. Toss something at it. Over there. Toss it. That's like a rock or something at it. Stand back, just in case. Wait, where is it? Else. <laughs> oh my god. That was worse than mine. <laughs> I can't do it like from this angle. It's like... Go closer. Like that. Careful, Chris, you're getting really close to the Black Widow. I'll make that Black Widow dinner if it keeps it up. Here, Chris, can you hold this for a second? Like, you can see the dark blob there, right? You see, you're seeing what I'm seeing? I'll try to zoom in on my phone camera quick. Okay. That? On the ceiling? No, down no, below. Down, like right down there. Right there, right there, right there. There's like a dark thing down there. Oh yeah, that's a snake. Is it? Oh, that's a rattlesnake. Oh, okay, well. Are you positive? Yeah, I just seen it still move, I think. Look. Throw, that should throw a rock at it. Well, that's what I was trying to do, but... Can't from this yeah. angle. You see it on my phone? Take a picture, take a picture, take a picture. Chris, right here. Picture. Guys, I'm going to switch to my phone camera right now. You ready? You can see it clearly? Pretty sure. Thoughts? It's not moving, but... I thought I seen it move. Well, throw something, like, in the direction. Yeah, some throw something in there. <laughs> you guys are fucking... <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna hit us next. Hold on one second. My pipe is stuck to my mic. I've never said that before. Just walk down like one step. How bad do you think it's gonna walk? Good eyes, Angela. Yeah. I'm still not believing it. I, like, I, no, see, I need to see more movement. You can see something. Let's go over and check. Yeah, go grab it. <laughs> I, I always had this theory, guys. Hear me out. Here. You grab, something. Chris, hear me out. You grab the tail by, or the snake by his tail, and you start spinning. <laughs> and you spin really yeah. fast and launch it in the sky. That's yeah. a really good idea. Thank you. Fuck. Well, uh. <laughs> okay. Right, I'll come with you. Oh, is it moving? Is it? I think it's moving. So it's definitely a snake. Good distance. Oh, it moved, yeah, 100%. I think. Hmm. Yeah, I think it did move. Maybe Are there maybe more maybe. around? Oh, I'm keeping my eye on you, pal. Huh? It's a leaf. Is it? Yeah. God damn it. Debunked. Debunked? I mean, from a distance, it looked like a snake. I also think it's too cold. Right? Oh, there's a blanket right there. Right? Okay, I'm coming in. Isn't that creepy? <laughs> Uh, oh shit, you're right. Wow, this is unsettling as hell. Yeah, this is perfect, guys. I just thought about it. Chris goes that way, I'll go this way, and Angela goes that way. Not a fucking chance. <laughs> Not a fucking chance. You're positive it's a leaf? I don't know. The double check. We're, we'll do it together. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's. No, it's actually. Yeah, it's like a leaf or something. That's creepy. That's very creepy. What the hell is that? Whatever, something. Evil Oh, good. Evil Dead. Look at us all caving together. 
Who would have thought? Uh, honestly, not me. Thought? All right, well. Not so. <laughs> Same. Who would have thought? So? Not so. <laughs> All right, Angelo. Well, it was nice knowing you, pal. Yep. I have no fucking clue. I was way back there, I think. Look at look, look how far back that one goes right there. Should we go on that one, Chris? Me and you? I'm not going on any of them. Why not? This is it. This, this is it. Damn, look how low the ceiling is. Is it better to go right this way? Um, you could go right, yeah. They all, it leads up to, to, to each other. It's a Do you circle. want to maybe ask a couple of questions here? Like, uh, we could. While he goes uh, on. We yeah, while you go, stuff. we could ask some questions. Okay. Angela? Stop that. Panting. Okay. Well, that's what will happen when you get down there. You start breathing heavy. It's talking to yeah. somebody it's or, or talking about... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell is the going hell on? Three spirits. Oh, one for each of us. Uh, Look at that. Hmm. What the f? I don't know. Lights, 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 lights. They're gone. Wait, what? Gone. I can't see. I can't see. Stop the panting, and that's what I can't see. It's talking about someone who died down there. You're talking to someone who died down there. I'm telling you. I don't. I don't like this. I feel okay down in there, but like that's that's good. That's it. Okay. Chris doesn't. This Listen, isn't... Bro, I'm not gonna push you to do anything you're not comfortable doing. Respectfully. No, I get it. I appreciate it. Him on the other hand. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, kind of going for it. Dude, this is such a weird feeling. Stand. I'm a little worried for him, honestly. No, I am too. See you. You're going. Angel, if I don't hear from you in like 30, 35 minutes, I'm. Gonna make a brief effort to come find you. Okay. <laughs> a brief effort. I don't want to go all the way down. <laughs> he may stick his head in one way. <laughs> he might, <laughs> might stick my head in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that as best way uh, possible. Yeah, no, no, guys. We're not gonna obviously let anything no. happen to our friend. It's more so just like... It, it's it's phobias, man. Like, some people are scared of spiders. And they yeah. won't do anything. Some people are scared of the ocean. Like me. I will I don't like the ocean. Um... And another thing is caves. I'm not a big fan of caves. Me neither. Me going in there was a huge step. That was a big step. Yeah. I thought we saw a spider, so we're like, ooh. Nutty. That's a nutty? Who we're just talking about? Nutty. Oh, <gasps> the nutty putty. Bro. N U T T Y. <gasps> I'm over here talking about caving phobias. That's, that's why I have Panting. a phobia. I can't see. That's the dude actually died in the fucking cave. Horrifying. How far is that from here? I, that I don't know. I wish I could group. You need to be alone. You need to be alone. It also said run away right behind. Right before that. Wait, Angelo's alone. Um, Is Angelo going to be okay? Can you confirm or deny? Shit. You know crazy is we were going to check out the perimeter of this place. What? Drawer. I'm gonna let you hold on to the phone. I'll, I'll man the okay. camera for a sec. Gotcha, gotcha. Drawer. Okay. Does it mean anything? God, I'm so worried about Angelo. Yeah, I almost like. <sighs> Is our friend gonna be okay down there? Can you guys tell us that? Should we? I can hear him talking. What the fuck was that? Gunshot. Gunshot. Okay. Um, so here's the thing. It is a desert. I think Nevada is an open carry state too, so I think just anybody has guns. And but it's what time is it like? 1 30? Yeah, it's late. It's after one. That's fantastic. On a Tuesday night. On your birthday. Imagine getting a shot on your birthday. That oh man, that would, that would definitely suck. Yeah. But that'd be my luck. Imagine. Whoa, 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 what did he say? That was Angelo. That was Angelo. 
I just want to make sure he's good. Should we at least maybe like at least be here for him? Probably not. <gasps> Yo, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's idea. very contradicting. Should we or should we not? Bro, he's no, so I asked if our friend's gonna be okay, and I said probably not. And then you said she would be here with okay, us. Okay, then said, yeah, yeah, let's go. I, 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 Watch the spider. Yeah, I got my eyes on you, pal. So they say I think if that bites me, you gotta suck the venom out. God. Yeah, straw. <laughs> 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 no. Wait, which one did he go down? To the right, I think, right? Someone had a fire in there. Isn't that like very stupid to do? Yeah. In a cave setting? Thomas. Thomas L. Oh, listen. Is that a shirt right there? That yes. red shirt? I think so. Is that a bra or a shirt? Oh. Bro, he's gone. Uh, Angelo? Bro. Angelo! He's gone. He's gone. Where's Angelo? Is he safe down there, you guys? Whoever we're talking to, can you give me? Group of us. Group of us. Oh, fuck. Angelo! He's not gonna be able to hear you, bro. That shit goes so deep. Really? I'm telling you, dude. Fuck yeah. Do you think he's okay? I fucking hope so. Fuck, man. Like, I'm literally like. They probably shouldn't let him go alone. I know, I know he said 30 minutes, but at the same time, it's like... Is Angela gonna be okay? Can you just at least tell us that? Whoa! What the hell? Is that was that Angelo? Is that him? Angelo! Yo! Do these connect? Yes. Very far away, though. That didn't sound like Angelo, though. Not at all. Okay, so this is one of my biggest fears. We may have just lost our friend in these caves that go hundreds of feet underground. But why did this thing just stop talking, too? It's like it left us to go with him. We don't have any service here. This is a no service zone. Yeah. So these Better answers are all just coming straight from whatever is here. I don't hear a thing, bro. Think about Angelo. When he films, he talks a lot. He he's talking to the camera. Him. He's, yeah. Most likely. Wait, so he's going to be okay, right? Okay, that's good. That's good. What do you want to do? Um... Most likely zero. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, the thing about Angelo, and I've told you guys this, you've seen it last night. Angelo has no, like, Angelo's okay if he dies tonight. That, that's the way Angelo lives. Like, he, he's genuinely, that's how he lives his life. The problem is, is like, that's a, that's a cool feature to have and feel like that. But, um... Like the Dodgers play tomorrow. You know, I'm looking forward to that. You yeah. Know? Things need, like that. home run out of our guy. Otani, yeah. Otani kind of let us down today. That's okay. They'll come back. Okay, whoa, so... Whoa, 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 no. I should have... Roger. Roger, I should have a girl scream outside. I swear to God. What a female that pitch scream. Hello? Yeah, that was a scream. What? What is that scream that we're hearing? Hold on, dude, I don't like any of this. Yeah, I don't like any of this. There's no one out here. 
Like, I'm gonna just crank the ISOs up for a sec, guys. Our cars are down there. But that's it, there's nothing else here. We're so damn deep in the desert that, like... <sighs> what is that? That's from our cars. That is from our cars. You hear that, right? Yeah, what is that? Look, can you hold this for a keys? Here. Here your phone? Yeah. I'll grab my flashlight quick. Erase it. Shut up. I'm gonna pause this for a sec. That almost like something was like messing with our cars. Wouldn't be that surprising. This deep in the desert? Someone creeping up on us like that? You never know who or what's out here, it's a problem. Well, we heard those gunshots not too long ago. I just wanna make sure he's okay. All right, guys, so me and Chris ran into a couple of issues. Camera was malfunctioning, so we came back to the car. While we were here grabbing some things, Angela just came sprinting, screaming out of the cave. So, Angela, what were you experiencing? I thought I was about to die. Like, no joke. I was, like, already starting to hyperventilate. I thought I was going to pass out, which would not have been good considering how far you guys were, but eventually you would have come to work. We're, we're getting ready to come back. I yeah. Think. So I was, like, calling out your names because, like, I... I at one point, I literally, I couldn't even hold the camera up anymore. Like, I had to stop Jesus. and sit down on the ground. I couldn't, I could, couldn't even move. So here's the problem. Yeah. My camera died at 45%. Really? Never had that happen. Like, with this new camera, by the way. Yeah. Um, then this light up here, mm -hmm. this one that's on my camera, that died. And we were like, okay. Like mine did. Yeah. As so soon as we got there. We were going to go in and we're like, we need to at least have more light. Right. So we went back to the car and then that's when you came screaming. Yeah. So we're like, holy shit. <sighs> oh, and I was definitely hearing something. some weird noises. Something was in there. I don't know what it was. I think somebody just, like the spirits that died in there. I think they're just trapped. And they're oh, and you know help, what's, you know? you know what's strange? You're, uh, when you were running the thing, it said three spirits. Yes. Okay, so when I got far enough in, mine also said three spirits. Okay. Yeah. So I thought there were stories of it. Yeah. I don't know what these three spirits are, but... The, well, it makes you wonder, is it people who've passed? Is it also things like skinwalkers? Because those are also considered spiritual, can be. Yeah. They're cryptids, but essentially, you know. And then at the same time, it... Yeah, I don't know. And it did say something about she's missing. I don't know who she is, but... Somebody might have gone missing in there don't know there are no, lots of lots i mean what of if it what if like hypothetically if somebody went in exploring and it mm -hmm. like collapsed and they couldn't get out it's, they'll well, never no, be found no they'll literally never be found for them you right? never know the yeah. body's gone forever yeah that's crazy it's sad but so true oh boy like guys it, it's hard to explain but like looking around this is all that's around there's just rocks snakes rattlesnakes uh tumbleweeds black and widows. black yeah. widows yeah it, it's it's pretty damn horrifying, I'm going to be honest with you, but Chris and I are going to go give it another spin and go in there for a little bit, kind of check it out. And um, yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll see where the night takes us. All right, guys, um, this is going to sound really stupid, but it is officially three o'clock in the morning, the devil's hour, the witching hour, the skinwalker hour. You guys like that one? Mm -hmm. That's a new one. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we figured we we're gonna give this one last hurrah, one last hour. We're gonna attempt it in here. Um, I don't know how far we'll go. I'm not gonna make any false promises, but we'll at least go check it out, feel it out, and see, you know, where we'll go from there. So, yep. All right, I'll go first. What's the flesh runner? Oh, skin. I get it. I get it. You're not supposed to say skin walker, right? Oh yeah, I forgot. Well, that kind of like. Yeah. Lures them in, right? Ooh. Okay. So, all right. Um, is there anybody here with us? Guys? Yeah. Oh, we're coming with you? Yeah, <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> is there anybody still here that wants to communicate with us? So, Angelo, yeah. you went that way? Yes, I did. How far did you go, would you say? Except for the part that goes down. Oh. Good. 
80. Um, wait, yo. That date on the box? Yeah. 45. Yeah. How old would they be? 80. 79 yeah, acres. That's true. 55, yeah, just about 79. 79, holy shit. I mean, yeah. that could be a reach. I'm just saying, like. No, it makes sense. Hmm. All right, well, I guess if you want to go on Angelo's channel, you can see what goes down there, too. But um, I'm going to go just take a look. I'm going to go take a look. Uh, maybe we'll go down there, too, a little bit. We have a good hour. So here, Chris, I'll hand you this. Um, Angelo, do you have a spear box or anything you could run? Barring that you'll be with Chris for a yeah. sec? Yes. Oh, my almighty pipe. This is, uh, is going to be with me the whole trip. All right, before I go in there, is there anything you want to warn me of? Anything at all? So it was like telling you, like, basically to get out of there when you were in there? Yeah, it was like warning. It said, I'm warning you or something along those lines. Um, uh, basically, I'm in danger. Uh -huh. Yeah, things along those lines. Okay, well... It's not saying anything, so if you want to fire up yours, I am actually going to go use my camera and um, yeah, we'll go give this a shot. Oh, I just took a picture. Nice. Thank you. All right. Well, guys, it was nice knowing you. Be safe. I'll try my best. Be very careful because there is definitely something in there. Like what? I don't know. I heard something. Couldn't tell you what it was. Oh, great. Probably just a flesh runner. No big deal. Angelo, you're so unserious. There's <laughs> nothing to worry about. Okay. It'll be fine. That's weird. It hasn't said anything yet. Just sign out again. Okay. 19. Anybody in here? 19. Yeah. Can you tell us the significance of 19? Does it really mean anything? Yeah. Also, it's like the age of people who. I'm missing, I don't know, reaching there. Yeah, I saw something there. Did you see? I don't know. Almost like eyes. Yes, there it is. Okay, there we go. Something down there. Yeah, I thought like I saw eyes or something down there. What? You see it? Whoa, mm -hmm. what's moving? Here? It's like someone's walking on the rocks. Yeah. 17. 19? 17. Is that a year? Is that when the year something bad happened here? Possibly. Did you die here in 1917? Drink it? Drink it? I don't have anything to drink. Sounds more like evil torture or something. Yeah. Yeah, like you're like... The number five. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Why is it numbers? I mean, there's like cups and water bottles and stuff, yeah. but I'm not drinking none of that. Yeah, like yeah. Can you guys actually hear us? Can you can you confirm that you can actually understand what we're saying? I can't really hear him anymore. Poorly. Poorly. Okay, so you can hear us poorly. Yeah. I'm gonna ask something. I don't know. That's that's weird. Keep feeling like there's something. Maybe. 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 Touching my legs. Touching me. Who's down there? What are you doing down there? Can you come up here and talk to us? Yeah. The number five. Bro, what? It's the second, it's the second time. time. So you know that whole theory about how like some of those demons call themselves like by numbers? Okay. Have you ever heard that theory? Uh, Most people that say that. Not particularly, no. I'm not saying. Video. That's that's what we're doing. I said that earlier too when I was in there. Did it? Maybe it's aware of. Oh, Jazzy, okay. Uh, correct. So you guys are modern spirits. Man and correct. Can you guys make that bottle move that's hanging right there? Prove to us that you can hear us and you're with us. Is anybody in here? I don't want to let you know I'm facing my fears right now because I'm deathly terrified of this. So.
Hello? Guys? Guys? Oh, okay. I thought I heard a voice. It's not them. Oh, hell no. Is anybody here? Hello? Um, okay. So guys, um, once again, I just want to mention I am deathly afraid of caving. This is like me facing my fears right now. Um, so, yep. Yeah. What the fuck was that? It was like a, like a, Almost like a whimper. Oh, that could be a dog, no? That didn't sound like a dog. Is anybody in there? I noticed there's like a red string on the floor. Almost like maybe it was someone's way. Yeah, it goes all the way in. All right, fuck it. Oh, it's here too. Okay. Hey, is anybody in there? Ooh. Okay. Okay. That was a voice. That was a male's voice. I'm telling you right now. Guys, I'm telling you right now, there is someone in this cave. I just heard a voice. Hello? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I heard a voice in there. It sounded like a woman's like, it almost sounded like a, hmm, like a whimper, okay. right? And I was thinking to myself, okay, so there's two things, woman or a dog? I was like, I don't know which one's worse right now, right. to fight in a cave. Um, so they started going, towards, I don't know why, but it sounded like a male, like a, <clears throat> like almost like a clearing a throat. It said man. Yeah. Really? The three box just said man, correct? Yeah, it said man, correct. And it also said video. I wonder if it was answering me, because I was like, is there anyone over there? Maybe, yeah. And it was saying man, correct? Yeah. It kept giving us numbers. 1917. Yeah, 1917. It said the number five, like the word came out, the number five, twice. Down there. Oh, it was very clear. Yeah, yeah. So, so someone was like walking up towards us. Kevin Russell. Kevin. What the? F we had a full name. Kevin Russell. Okay. Wait, was it? Was there a name on that box? Yeah, it was Ray. 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 Listen. Whoa. I'm telling you, it sounds like a like a. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there hyenas out here? I don't think uh, so. I think so. I hope not. Wrong continent? That's, oh, Africa. Oh, we're right. going to find out. I think so, that. Yeah. yeah. I was just wondering. I don't remember. Yeah, it's just casually. Like, yeah. I watched uh, Lion King recently. Okay. okay. The, Great the, watch. The new one or the old one? Uh, They're both good, but nothing could beat the old one. The 90s one? I don't know. had a lion. Two of them, I think. Three of them, actually. They both lions. Several lions. seen that movie, I'm not sure. The Lion King? Yeah. Damn. Miss it up, I know. Simba. Alright, hold on. Can either of you whistle? Just. Illness. See? Yes. Something down there. Something's down there. Oh, Star Wars also. Hello? Did you guys check this blanket, by the way? Was there like any sort of like... Yeah. That's true. All nice and cozy. It says mischief negative. I mean, it's kind of nasty looking. You can touch it if you want to, but... It's probably a fun time activities blanket. Perfect. House. House. Alright. 
well, um, I guess we'll go in a little deeper. Who's so, we? who's we? I, I just kind of want to check that out because, like, bro, what, bro? I don't know. I, I heard that David yeah. voice, and I was like, it's all you, bro. It's all. Ten minutes. I'm not going in. No, I told you I'm not going in the cave. I'll come with you. Come with me. Okay. What? I've set boundaries. I'm not doing it. I guess you're coming. Nope, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. It really wants us to go. Right? Yeah. Well, it did say earlier, me and him were standing outside. It was like, we we know you. Oh. And then it was saying things oh, so like. I guess it recognizes you. Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah. They or they them. Yeah. I don't know. Wherever they are. All right, well. um, Guys? Yeah. That sounds like a girl's voice. Hold on, hold on. There's no way there's Let me pause this for a second. It sounds. We've heard that multiple times. Wait, stop, 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 stop. I literally almost lost my balance. You okay? Yeah. Whoa. Where's that coming from? That literally sounds like what a woman's voice. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? What the fuck? Go, 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 go. Oh shit, careful, careful. Yo. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, okay. shit.